Today we're going to deploy a Mitel Connect virtual switch with CentOS for the operating system. In Mitel Connect directory, go to Appliances and Servers, Platform Equipment, select New, pick your location, select the type of switch. We're going to do a virtual phone switch. Provide a name. Description if desired, IP address. Give it a MAC address. And select Save. Click the gear, select Downloads. Download the virtual appliance install. The next step will be to upload the ISO file into your VMware data store. Select Storage. Pick your data store. Select Data Store Browser. Select Upload. Select the ISO file we downloaded, open, and upload the ISO file. You may watch the progress here. Go to Virtual Machines, Create, Register, New Virtual Machine, give it a name, we're using ESXi 6.5. If you're using 6, you would select 6, so 6.5 Virtual Machine, Linux, and we will be CentOS 4.5 or later, 64-bit. Select Next, pick your data store, select Next. We're going to size this based on the sizing requirements for 100 phones or less, so that's one CPU, 2 gigs of RAM, we give it a 20 gig hard drive. The controller needs to be VMware Paravirtual. Select your network. For the CD, pick your data store ISO file that you uploaded. Select. Go next. Review your settings. Click finish. When the switch is first powered on, you will be prompted to install Shortel Connect Appliance. Select Enter. The switch will go through a boot process. You will be presented with a menu. We're going to select 3 for a virtual IP phone switch. Static. IP address. Subnet mask. Gateway, management server IP address is fine, service net mask, DNS, server, image server, This is where it's firmware images. We'll give the image version point for the default and select yes. CentOS version is 7. And we're going to take ours from the connect managing server that we specified. Script will run. It takes a minute or so. Once the switch is powered on, we log in. Admin on the default short tail. STCLI. If you pulled your image correctly, you will see this menu here. And then you will see up here in shortware directory that our new switch is showing green. That's it.